When your family has been in the automotive repair industry for nearly 100 years, you might say you know a thing or two about cars and engines. That's certainly the case for Bill Sorelli, owner of Sorelli Competition Engines in Patterson, New Jersey. Sorelli's family started an auto repair garage in 1922 and ran it until 1972. As such, when Bill was growing up in the 50s and 60s, he was hanging around muscle cars and quickly got interested in drag racing. Bill eventually took what he learned from his time drag racing and hanging around with other engine builders and decided to take his own shot at the race engine business, starting Sorelli Competition Engines in 1970. Over the years, the engine shop has done engine work for stock, super stock, modified eliminator, and comp eliminator racing. More recently, Sorelli has shifted the shop's focus to bracket racing. Recently, the shop had a new customer from Virginia come in on a recommendation from All Pontiac, a manufacturer of Pontiac aftermarket components. This customer needed engine work for a drag racing application. The engine is an all aluminum 535 cubic inch Pontiac, and we have the details for you in this episode of Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave. Precision, performance, Pengrave. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. Hey everyone, I'm RJ Polk, and today we're talking about an all-aluminum 535 cubic inch Pontiac engine built for drag racing. According to Sorelli, this brand new build is naturally aspirated. It features a single carburetor, an all Pontiac Indian Adventures block, and some used all Pontiac Tiger cylinder heads. He acquired a set of slightly used all Pontiac Tiger heads, which we had originally CNC ported here, and he bought them from another customer. And the cylinder heads, all Pontiac, Tiger, they're about 460 CFMs, 300 intake valve, 1-800 exhaust valve. It has an intake manifold, that's the all Pontiac Tiger manifold, that has been extensively ported by CFM South. We're awaiting a carburetor from Dale Cubic, and that's going to have 2.400 throttle blade. The aluminum block comes approximately 4180 roughed out cylinder. So we had a bore at the 4350. We had to deck the block with a smooth finish for the MLS gaskets. We uh, had to install the lifter bushings and finish hone the lifter bushings. We finished the lifter bushings to, to between one and a half and 1.9 thousandths. Sorelli is also running a wet deck on this engine. According to him, some of the Pontiac community tends to run a dry deck scenario where they don't run water between the heads and block, but that's not his preference. My preference is to run the water between the heads and the block and not restrict it away from the two hot areas right in the center with the two center exhaust valves. I think the wet deck is a, a, a better system for a, uh, an engine that has two exhaust valves next to each other right in the, in the center of the engine. This 535 Pontiac has a 55 millimeter cam barrel and the camshaft was ground by LSM Systems Engineering in Michigan. They do the grinding, we provide the specs. This particular cam is uh, 283, if, if you're looking for the numbers, it's 283 at 50 on the intake, 304 at 50 on the exhaust. It's on a 117 lobe center, 1.014 on the intake, and 0.897 on the exhaust. The engine uses a billet crankshaft, aluminum rods, and CP pistons with a total seal ring package. It has 1.95 inch intake rockers, 1.85 inch exhaust rockers, uses a Jessel valve train system, ISKI 904 Easy Roll lifters, Manton 7 16 and 3 8 push rods, custom head gaskets, King engine berries, a dry sump oiling system with a Moroso two piece oiling pan manly valve springs, and an ATI damper. Fully complete, Sorelli's new customer walked out the door with a brand new all aluminum 535 Pontiac engine that pumps out 1,050 horsepower with a 15.5 to one compression ratio. We think he'll be one satisfied customer. 
Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. Thanks to our sponsors, Pengrade, Scat Crankshafts, and L-Ring. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email our editor, Greg Jones, at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for watching.